Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power now hosted on Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use DVD Fab 9, which is a really great software solution to make backups, disk backups of your DVD movies, or maybe your Blu-ray movies, or maybe it can also help you convert your AVI files to other file formats. So let's get started and talk about this. So if you go to DVDFab.cn, this is the main website. What I end up doing is go to download. Download, for me, I'm downloading the Windows version of DVD Fab 9. And then also, you can also download this, man this manual if you are so inclined to do so. And real quick, here's what the manual looks like. You go through it. It's really detailed. There's a lot of good information here about all the different features. But I'll touch upon the highlights in today's video tutorial. So go ahead, download it, and install it. And I'm going to run the program right now. I'm actually going to make a backup copy of Total Recall as a Blu-ray movie. Please note that if you're in the USA, the DVD Fab 9 program will not remove that Blu-ray protection. So you got to do it through some other means. I'm actually using any DVD to remove that Blu-ray protection uh, on top of the disc. Okay, so got my disc inserted. So let's talk about the different tabs here real quick so you have an idea of how everything works together. This first tab here is called the Copy tab. So the Copy tab is, let's say you insert your disc and you can copy like the full disc, maybe the main movie, maybe you want to customize it, maybe you want to do a clone, or maybe you want to you know, rip it to a DVD. So if you highlight or tick your mouse and hover, you'll see the tooltip of what that particular feature does. So we'll get back to this later in the tutorial. The Ripper tab is where you take your movie, like your disc, for example, and you rip it into a particular format. So let's say my movie, I'm going to rip it from Blu-ray, and let's say I want to rip it to an MP4 or MKV or whatever. So that's what that particular tab does. The Converter tab is a little bit different. The Converter tab is it's like you have a, an existing video, like I have this wildlife video, a sample video, and I'm going to convert that from WMV to MP4. Or maybe I'm going to convert it to a MKV or something like that. So you click on Start, and it does that conversion process. And last but not least is the Creator tab. The Creator tab allows you to make your own DVD movie or own uh, Blu-ray movie, you know, like a compilation of files. So you just add a bunch of different files here, and then you can make your own, you know, slideshow type movie. So that's pretty cool. I've not done that personally. I use this program mainly to make backup copies of my own Blu-ray movies. So how does that work? So let's go back to the Copy tab. And let's say that for today's example, I'm just interested in doing the main movie because I want to make sure I have, I have enough space on my blank Blu-ray disc dedicated to this uh, video compression. Volume label, I'll leave it alone. Output, so I'm going to say BD25 because that's what my blank Blu-ray disc is, 25 gigabytes. Down here is the, is the path of where you want to save it to. So I'll save it down here. Also, notice these two buttons here. One is the movie path. I mean, save as a movie folder, excuse me. And the other button is for save as an ISO. So actually what I want to do is if I don't want to burn it straight to a, you know, a disk right now, what I could do, let's say, is um, rip it to the hard drive now and then burn it to a blank Blu-ray disk in the future. So if you want to do that, click on this button here, this save as ISO image file. It's going to ask you to give it a name. I'm going to leave it with the default name. That's okay for now. And then here's the main movie. So that looks good. I click on start. And it starts doing that ripping slash conversion process. Once that is done, let's say in the future, what you want to do, let's say you insert your blank disk, and now you want to burn that ISO to that blank disk. All you got to do is click on this Add button. Okay, here, go ahead, find your ISO file on your computer, click on Open, and then it will show here in this main window here. Click on Start, and now that will go ahead and burn your ISO movie to your blank Blu-ray. So hopefully that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is I want to rip my movie first. So let's go ahead, click on Start. And we see there's not enough space in my C drive. Great. So make sure you have enough space on your hard drive in question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me change this to a, uh, a different folder. You can also do, um, let, me do, let me do this. You could change it to a different folder. So I go here, let go here. Let's go to uh, here, click on Save. Click on start. Now, now I got more than enough space, and now that conversion process can go ahead and continue. So that is today's video tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions about this program, let me know. Leave a comment here on our YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.